Hello everyone, welcome to Bards and Books. I'm Usman, and today we're doing my March wrap-up and April TBR. So, how many books did I read in March? That was five. Five. One more than I had originally planned. So, um, I started off with Dragons of Winter Night, which is book two in the Dragonlands Chronicles. Now, this is a read-along hosted by Chris over at A Fictional Escapist. We read book one in... February, book two in March, and book three in April. So this is book two, and I gotta say I really enjoyed it a lot more than book one, uh, where book one was more of your typical D&D campaign. This, we, we uh, well, book one actually surprised me a little bit. It had some pretty strong character work for a, for a, a book like that, but uh, here we really took that to the max. So these characters get way more interesting. There's a lot of plot twists oh, that you don't see coming. Um, there's a lot of divergence of paths between this this party of characters and they go through some pretty crazy stuff. But yeah, overall I loved it way more than book one. It was a big step up. Uh, I gave it four stars, whereas book one I gave three stars. So hopefully it only gets better from here. Hopefully the last book just kind of blows my mind and is five stars. It could go either way. I mean, I know trilogies like this, at least in my experience, have kind of fallen flat somewhat near the end. So, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, hope it ends strongly. We'll see. And then I'll do a review of that in April, the whole trilogy. The next book I read was Eleventh Cycle by Keen and Ardalan. Now, this is one that I didn't plan on reading, but after watching Matt's review from Matt's uh, Fantasy Book Reviews, I had to pick it up. I didn't have a choice. I needed to read it. I needed to read it now. So I read that. I really enjoyed it. That's basically my first uh, real dive into, well, my first dive into Grimdark if you're not counting the Black Company books. But this, this was definitely a lot more different than that. I really enjoyed the uh, eldritch pantheon that we kind of get here in this like really grim world. Uh, the character work was amazing. Like we followed these diverse cast of characters and uh, they just went through a lot a lot of crap a lot of trauma and it was very cathartic for me but I have a review of that which you can watch I'll link up here that was five stars easy five stars for 11 cycle can't wait to read the next book uh, when it comes out but moving on now we get to Discworld I finally read Discworld books one and two the color of magic and the light fantastic I also have a review of that, which I will link up here. I loved it. I loved it so much. It was hilarious. Um, like I said, I don't understand why people always say don't start here, but it was fine for me. It was easy four stars. Both of these books were four stars. Very strong start for Discworld, and I can't wait to continue with the rest of the series. I'm going to read it all. It's going to be awesome. Thank you, Sir Terry Pratchett. And the last book I read in March, which I'm almost done, not quite finished, but that is The Gathering Storm by Robert Jordan and Brandon Sanderson. So this is book 12 in The Wheel of Time, and it is still going strong for me, fortunately. The slog was really bad, but then book 11, Knife of Dreams, really picked up. It really surprised me, and I loved it. So I decided to read The Gathering Storm right away, basically the next month, and I'm glad I did. Brandon Sanderson has just done a marvelous job here. Um, adapting his writing style to match Jordan's. That's it. I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm almost done, so yeah, I am going to enjoy it a lot and get that review out soon. So those are the five books I read in March. Now, what am I reading in April? Well, first off, I'm going to start with Dragons of Spring Dawning, which is book three in the Dragonlance Chronicles. Like I said, Chris from A Fictional Escapist is hosting this. And so we're going to wrap it up in April. We're going to see how the trilogy does. Like I said, I'm really hoping it ends on a strong note. Book four, I mean book two, sorry, really surprised me. I gave it four stars. I really loved it. And so I'm hoping book three will be as good, if not better. And for the next three books, I actually did a poll on the Bookish Drummers Discord. This is part of a uh, readathon or a reading challenge called Battle of the Bands. So that should be fun. But the options for the poll were the Night Angel Trilogy, the Poppy War Trilogy, the Warded Man series, the Demon Cycle, and the Broken Earth Trilogy. And the winner was the Poppy War. So I'll be reading all three books, starting with the Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. All I really know about this series is that it focuses on a um, conflict between Chinese and Japanese. There's a lot of war, there's a lot of grim stuff. It's pretty brutal. But yeah, I'm excited to get to it. It's been on my TBR for quite some time, so that's 
the first book, and then the second book is The Dragon Republic. All I know about this book is that apparently it wasn't as good as the first one, um, but I'll be the judge of that. And then book three is The Burning God. I don't know anything about that one. I'm assuming it's about a god that gets burned. But anyways, I'll be reading the Poppy War Trilogy in April. And then after that, I will be reading the Hybrid Helix Trilogy. Now this is by an author and fellow booktuber, JCM Byrne. The first book is called Wistful Ascending. Book two is called Return of the Griffin. And book three is Blood Origin. So I don't know much about this trilogy. All I know is that the protagonist is a brown guy. And apparently he's got superpowers and it's like kind of sci-fi-ish. But yeah, I stumbled upon one of JCM Burns' uh, videos where he speaks in that regard about the protagonist being East Indian and why he chose that. But aside from that, I found the author to be very transparent and very forthcoming with the, the reasons for why, why he made the decisions that he made in this trilogy. And I just found it very admirable, so I thought I'd support him. I, I'm pretty interested in reading this trilogy, otherwise I wouldn't be reading it. So, and I find that there aren't really a lot of uh, series or or fantasy books that I read with with brown protagonists, like East Indians and and that kind of thing. I they're always I don't know. I mean, a lot of them are not really specified, so you can choose your own kind of thing. But I haven't seen um, a series or a book where it's explained or it's shown that the protagonist is a brown guy. So. Hey, I'm a brown guy. I thought I'd thought I'd check it out. And we'll see how it is. So anyways, those are the seven books that I'll be reading in April. Let me know if you've read any of these, if you're looking forward to my thoughts on any of these. Um, I will be going away for two weeks as well on a trip to the Philippines um, just to visit some family and stuff. So when I get back, I'll try to get some videos out, but I should be able to do a fair amount of reading there. So, you know, fingers crossed. That's what I'm hoping. I hope I'm hoping we won't be traveling around there too much. <laughs> because I'm lazy? No. Um, I'll see you guys all in a few weeks' time. Thanks for watching.